Hi everyone, this is Patsy. I am the president of LESLA and we wanted to reach out to you today um, amid the chaos and just check in and um, know that we're connected in lots, of, in lots of ways, even though lots of things are happening in the world. Um, we see you, we see you having a tough week. We see you scrambling to put your classes online. Um, some of you are exploring distance learning options or online teaching for the first time or are having to do so under um, a great deal of, of urgency and perhaps without a lot of guidance. We see you having to figure out um, staffing when you have to close schools or having to cut staff or having to cut hours or um, having to make big programmatic decisions that have real impacts on, on your students and your teachers. Um, we see you uh, and we're with you. We um, also see you taking care of each other, and, and that's just so heartening. We see uh, the exchanges online, both on Facebook and, and through the listserv and in a flurry of emails this week that I've been included in around how we're going to do this, how we're going to uh, help our students, how we're going to help our programs, how we're going to support our colleagues. Um, I see you taking care of each other and your students, um, teaching about the virus, teaching about things that we never thought we would have to teach perhaps, and perhaps it's bringing up a lot of things both for you and your students around scarcity and uncertainty, and it's been traumatic and it's not over. Um, these, are, these are difficult weeks and when we see you struggling and I'm just so, um, so terribly proud to be a part of this group of educators. And I'm, I'm so, um, so pleased with the exchanges that I'm seeing and uh, the sharing that happens. And I'm glad that we have an organization where we can, where we can um, stay connected and be together. Um, I also um, am just reminded that we all work with people in the margins. And when the dust settles from this pandemic, um, we will know like, you know, in all likelihood see that the people affected most are as always the people in the margins. And um, this is what we do. This is what we do well. And um, I'm proud to be a part of, of this group of educators who, who make that their wheelhouse and who do it so very well and with such grace. So I'm I'm just glad to be a part of this group. I, I also just want to encourage people to stay connected um, through the listserv, through Facebook, through um, whatever makes sense for you. If you have a small group of less the colleagues, you can continue to email. If you want to use the larger platforms, if you want to email me, um, if you have a great resource you want to share or something that um, has helped you and your work recently, um, send it along to me or to Ray, our communications director, and, and we'll see that it gets out um, to the rest of our, our colleagues. Um, in coming weeks, many of you uh, will receive a, a membership renewal notice because about a year ago, um, next month we started doing that so that's another way to just remember to to renew that so that we can stay connected with you um, I'm in touch with the fabulous organizers in Sweden in Malmö and um, that conference is set to go in August obviously if things shift we will let you know but for now that that seems a long time away and we certainly hope uh, the situation allows that to be a safe uh, thing to continue so all, all systems go as far as we know for that at the moment and um, I'm glad to be in touch with so many of you, and I hope that you're finding ways to continue to be connected as well. Uh, thank you for the work that you're doing, for the work that you continue to do. Thank you for being such fantastic colleagues. Um, we're going to see the other side of this, and uh, I look forward to having a chance to connect with you in person. Um, but until then, let's stay connected, and thank you for all your work.